doing right now is transplanting some of my cucumbers into a pot and then I will uh, eventually get a tripod of sorts. I'll make a, a spot for it to go up and uh, have it on a vertical climb that way instead of crawling down. But for now it is uh, hanging down, but it is easily trainable to put it up and then just string it up onto a trellis as it were, or like I said, a tripod type trellis that I'll be doing. So right now I've got the sun shining in my face so nicely. And it's so nice and hot in here already. It's so all whoopsie. Luckily there is a, uh, a sun roof. Uh, I think they call it a window to be open. So, but anyway, enough of that. Let's do some gardening. And uh, so what's going to happen is I don't have a bunch of soil right now to work with. So I'm working with what I have because I don't have a vehicle to go and get the stuff. I'm not about to go take a taxi, right? Like, huh? Because it's expensive enough as it is buying in smaller portions. So with that, I'm going to use the little bit I have. I've got a glove here and uh, I'm going to use the rest of what's in my bag. I'm going to fill this pot. Uh, to what I have, but the difference is what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just plug this whole thing right in. So I'm going to put soil enough underneath so it does grab it, but um, the, uh, the true leaves are starting way up here from down here. That's quite a bit of space. So it's going to have enough room so that once I get it in there, I later can put nice soil on top. And which, uh, like I said, at that time, I will train it and trellis it around a few, three or four uh, sticks or rods or whatever I find and uh, use that. So with that, let me shut up and start gardening with you. So what I'm going to do is the, uh, when you have a pot, when you have anything growing out, just pluck my damn eye out, excuse me. <laughs> what you do is make sure that you have aeration. So with that, you got to make sure that there's holes at the bottom of your pot. Now, because I'm going to be sticking this directly into the container out, I need to uh, make sure there's adequate holes now, more exaggerated than what I had originally uh, with the, the punctures that I had in here. If you can't see it, just suck it. Oh, so yeah, I used the knife, I guess, but there's straight punctures, several of them. So in those punctures, I'm now going to make an exaggerated hole so that they have, uh, like I said, proper aeration as well as water flow. So let's do that. Watch me. I've got this on the upside down um, container I'm going to be putting it in. So yeah, like I said, I can't see though. Oh, here's one. Dang, how am I going to build all of this? Let me get a, another pot and something to sit on. So I'll make it comfy. I'll use a towel. <laughs> and so let me sit down because I need to have a little I need to see what I'm doing. So hopefully I'm still sitting. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, let's get me in the sun and the water. But I do 
you could put water in the container and allow the uh, chlorine to dissipate so that you do not have uh, chlorinated water going on and killing any good microbes or uh, things that are in there that wouldn't be able to handle that kind of uh, crap in their area. So I'm going to have to look like I'm getting into uh, doing mechanics or something in a vehicle, but this is the girl mechanics, as it were, guys. So pay attention because this is what feeds you. So what you're going to do is, again, go to the spot, make it good, pull, and then I'm going to make sure to go in every one of the holes. Making sure this is stable and not going to fall off. So that when I do water it, I'm going to put the soil that I have down in the pot. But as I said, I don't have any extra. Oh, I actually do. I have a, I do have a bag outside, but I don't have a whole lot of soil. I just have a like a little store bought bag. Next thing you know, I am going to uh, not water or moisten the underneath this time. Now, normally when you're transplanting plants anything you're going to make sure the soil underneath or within that your is nice and moist but we're going to water it from the top let it go down so we'll be able to catch that goodness of any drippings and uh, you are going to uh, or i am going to um, like i said make sure that it's at a height in the pot that everything allows for stuff to flow move through and uh, let the soil get happy and settle if it has to and uh, like that so that's the reasoning why I would be doing that this time but otherwise normally if you don't have a big pot like this and you're just normally putting the small little pods you're going to make sure your soil is nice and damp not wet damp but just a moist damp okay so so that when you hold it and make all of it it is going to semi all tight, but once you touch it just slightly, it'll crumble. So that's kind of moisture only. So let me continue doing this. friendly little spider up there by the way who's helping killing helping clean up the garden so there's good little creatures you know whether you're inside or outside uh, that are beneficial so make sure you're not using pesticides or herbicides and all that crap to harm them so your friends the spiders so you can kill the nets they're invading my plants and possibly bothering my root of my uh, plants. So, you know, and again, the reasoning why I'm doing it like this is that um, cucumbers require a whole lot of watering. So this is not something you're necessarily going to put in direct 
area where there's going to be like a major downpour of water, you are though going to make sure that it does get continually watered once it starts fruiting. And you're going to definitely make sure that you're going to be putting a consistent amount of fertilizing. So a regular amount of fertilizing towards the pot of again once it starts fruiting. But we'll do that in another video. For now, let's get the soil in this pot that I have left over. Let's turn this bad boy over. Now, first I'm going to do is check to see how far down I need to put it before it bottoms out because I don't want it to bottom out. So I'm going to have to put it about there. So that's a considerable amount of soil. So let me do that. See if I have enough. No, I don't have enough in this bag. So I'm going to have to go get another bag. So, let me put you on hold while I go get the other bag and I will be right back. Too bad I can't move this up here so you can see it. Okay, maybe I could use this as a... Over. There we go. Who is she smart? That cookie has a little bit more than knowledge of making cookies. Okay, let me have a sip of the my soda. Because <sighs> on a Saturday night, and you ain't got nobody. It's always nice to have a soda to drink while you're doing your garden. Okay, let me uh, pause this note because I have to kind of go inside and get the uh, ingredients. Whew. That was heavy. I had to bring this big bag. I don't know if you can see it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. But I have to. Rained yesterday. Make sure it's on a, something, uh, a bag, so that it doesn't uh, wet lots, lots, lots uh, of wood, imitation wood, flooring that's going on. So, okay. And so there's barely none in here. And uh, I need something strong enough to pick this up. So I see something over here, which is washable. Actually. use this pot <laughs> as my scoop. So this soil had been sitting in the water for God knows how long, possibly years, because it, it's almost hard to, ew, to want to even touch it, but there is a bunch of beautiful moss, so I shouldn't be going ew. This will probably be healthy. I'm sure it's good. It doesn't smell bad, not like the first bag I retrieved out of the yard. I think I need to open this window. Gloves on in case the little creatures did the business on the back. 
Oh, Pooey, that scoop kind of smelled bad. Like pink, like urine. It's probably the cat spraying. If I were to. Yes! Ooh, and this stuff is wet already. It's really moist. So I definitely won't need to worry about water in this. Oh my god, look at that. It's growing the heck? Well, it's like compost will be fine. I hope. Oh. It doesn't smell bad, like I said. a good two inches, uh, let's say not even half an inch in between the space, but like I said, I kind of do want to add more soil because some of these stems are really uh, long, like this one for example. So at least it'll give that much, not much. Try to push it down a bit. All right, so that's what I'll do is try and just let it sit there for a moment so that I can get these placed around so that again, once I, it's time to start trellising, it's going to be easier to do. So with that, stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to let these get used to being in this new position. And um, while that's happening, the soil can dry a bit because it's way too wet for me to try and manipulate right now with the big clumps. So I'm going to maneuver it around. So, yeah, stay tuned. I will be back shortly. I'm going to pause this. I won't stop it. Just so that we can keep going. Ooh, 18 minutes already. So, I am going to end this video here just because uh, the person next door seems to have a... Uh, burning wood fetish so he's cutting wood right now and uh he doesn't know how to seem to use a saw so he keeps doing it crooked in which is like very irritating so with that no matter where you are what space whether you're in a large space small space grow your food make sure so that, uh, you know, if there's any issues, you know that you have your food. Moreover, with things like uh, all the circumstances going on in our world right now, you want to make sure that you're getting product that you know, again, is safe. Not something that might have been taken off the vine too early or put products on it to protect it from uh, rotting too quickly, all these different things, make sure you, too, grow your own produce. So with that, 
click like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for any upcoming videos on me being silly, sometimes being informative at times, trying new things, or simply sitting and having a mukbang with you. Remember, I'm the girl that likes to show her uvula, so if you see in the heading a tongue, it's because you'll be sure to see my mouth open. So with that, I'm going to leave you. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, or did I say that already? So that you get a upcoming videos, which I post constantly, sometimes several even a day. And like some people only uh, do it month, uh, weekly. So I've noticed in the last week, I think I'm gaining weight. <sighs> this place is... <laughs> Ugh, do want something to me, honey. But for now, let me let you go, and I will see you in the next videos of doing gardening, how to, whoa, where am I? How to transplant your cucumbers.